Steve Jobs, for a long time, has had a fascination with um, geometric design and the purity of it. When he left Apple to create Next Computer Company, the, the computer was designed as a square, a, a cube. And, you know, he did that design. Then when he came back to Apple, he did the G4 cube that came out, I think, about uh, 2000, I think. Anyway, he's done this cube type of thing. He's now realized the purest form, the best feng shui in design, is the sphere. It incorporates pi, everything, the earth, the sun, a sphere type of shape. Now, I don't normally cover rumors, but this one comes from a pretty reliable source. Rumor has it that Steve Jobs at the Worldwide Developer Conference in June, uh, June 9th of 2008 is going to be announcing a new Macintosh computer called the iSphere. Apparently, they removed all physical ports from the computer. Steve Jobs hates cable clutter. They left only Bluetooth and 802.11.n wireless connectivity with uh, adapters you can actually connect uh, printers, hard drives, you know this whole time machine is wireless as well for you to back up your files um, as well as um, other optical drives and things like that so you might want to connect to the computer as well. The iSphere also comes with a built-in microphone. Here's the great thing about it. Now, in 1983, Apple released the Lisa computer, which was the first one. A lot of people think it was the Mac, but it wasn't. It was the Lisa computer that was the first consumer computer to have a mouse device, a pointer device. They reinvented the design, the way we interfaced with our computers. Well, <laughs> they've redone it again. With Apple patented new voice recognition technology, you can speak in your own natural comfort language and communicate with your computer what you want it to do. It's that simple with this new technology. Again, wireless, no cables, no keyboards, all this ergonomic type of nonsense that they had, not true anymore. And also, in keeping with this wireless, no cable clutters, no ports, this pure sphere shape which you can't ruin, it is wirelessly powered. Through a new technology called wireless energy transfer, it is able to pick up the energy source that it needs from radio waves and things that are going on around microwave radiation, things like that. It is able to pick up the energy that it needs. Look this up on Wikipedia, you'll learn more about it. Um, now it does come with an optional dock that you can actually put down, which does have your standard USB and FireWire type of ports and Ethernet connections, those types of things um, that you can connect things to directly, including a MagSafe power connector. Um, so that is their sort of a dock, it's like a podium type of thing that the iSphere can set on top of. This is amazing. It's going to come apparently in two versions initially. The iSphere um, is going to be uh, five inches in diameter, roughly slightly larger than the width of a CD or DVD, which is necessary for the built-in optical drive. Specs include a 2.2 gigahertz nano processor, 16 uh, DVD or IW drive, up to 2 gigabytes of RAM, and 200 gigabytes of uh, uh, memory. Um, and the second version is called the iSphere Nano, and like the MacBook Air that got rid of the optical drive, the Nano uh, ditches that as well. It's only three inches wide, no optical drive, uh, specs include uh, comparable processor um, and uh, RAM, but it has a 64 gigabyte uh, solid state flash memory for file storage. This is kind of similar from what you might have been seeing in some of the MacBook Air designs. Um, apparently Steve Jobs has envisioned the computer to be a piece of artwork, like, like a piece of art on your bookshelf. Anyway, remember, you heard it here first on Ask the Techies.